super orderly. In my early 20s, I had a job as a hospital orderly. It was a low status, low pay job, but I saw myself as a superhero of sorts, arriving in the nick of time to save the day. See, after an operation for a broken leg or a slipped disc, the bladder doesn't work because it takes time for the anesthetic to wear off. So, some poor guy would be squirming in bed with a bladder filled to bursting when super orderly leaps into the room. Well, maybe I didn't exactly leap, but I did show up. Fully equipped with KY lubricating jelly, a plastic hose, and a plastic bag, I'd come to the rescue. What you plan to do with that hose? The guy would ask. Stick it up your penis into your bladder, I'd reply with a smile. Mm, will it hurt? He'd ask without a smile. Look at it this way, I'd say. If I slip this hose into you, it'll hurt, but just a little. If I don't stick this hose in, your bladder's going to explode like an atomic bomb. Imagine how that will feel. See, like doctors, orderlies have to develop a bedside manner. With his bladder swelling more and more, the guy would say to me, Okay, okay, do it. Get it over with. I was pretty efficient with that plastic hose, if I do say so myself. In four to eight seconds, I could make the bladder start draining and allow relief to fill the plastic bag. The guy would say, Oh, thank you, thank you. It feels so good. Glad to help, I'd tell the guy, and I was. I'd unclogged the drain, diverted the flood water, saved the day. I knew exactly how Superman must feel after a rescue job. As an orderly, I was also a barber of the hidden regions. See, before an operation, all hair anywhere close to the incision had to be shaved away. So I'd have to shave stomachs, backs, legs, butts. Of course, pubic hair had to go, all of it. When I showed up with my razor, none of those guys greeted me with a smile. Of course, that was true when I showed up with my bladder hose, too. But when I'd finished and a guy had an empty bladder, he was smiling like a kid at Christmas. But there was no pleasurable relief when I finished shaving a guy. He just looked like a plucked chicken. We used safety razors, but still, if I wasn't careful, I could slice a guy. And he had to lie very still. Usually that wasn't a problem, because I always warned him what might happen if he moved while I was shaving. So he lay frozen in terror. But once, while I was hard at work with my razor, a pretty nurse walked in the room. When my patient saw her, the guy got embarrassed and jerked his leg. It was only dexterity and quickness on my part that avoided a bloody disaster. Man, don't do that, I told the guy. She's a nurse. She's seen plenty of dingers. If you keep jerking around, you won't have anything to be modest about. If I'm at a dinner party and start reminiscing about my days as a hospital orderly, Days when I felt like a superhero, somebody usually says, Hey, don't talk about that while we're eating. Can't you think of something more pleasant to talk about? So I shut up and listened to everyone else chatter about pleasant stuff. But all the while I'm thinking, the guys whose bladders got drained thought what I did was exceptionally pleasant. It's frustrating to become a skilled practitioner and not be able to brag about your area of expertise.